What's up everyone, watch your step here and welcome back to my walkthrough of Stay Out. We're currently getting through the opening area of Stay Out. Uh, we're doing the quest down at the train station. Now in the last walkthrough you guys saw that we went ahead and got the copper wire and the artifact. Right now I'm going to turn in the artifact to the huckster and we're going to do the next quest to try to get out using the handcart method. So tell him I brought the artifact and he's going to mention uh, some other things I got to do. So if I look in here, it's going to tell us that we need to find Vladimir in the village. Now Vladimir is located right here in the village. You're going to notice you got all these red areas. This is the most dangerous section of the map because this is where the dogs most frequently spawn. Now over here you got a late night creature, I forget its name, but it is terrible and it will kill you quick. Uh, and then you got boars that go all the way around here. Your safest path to get up there would be going all the way around in the blue. What we're going to do though is we're actually going to run through the swamp. While you're running around you can find herbs. There is one type of herb that we are looking for herb that we're looking for and once we find that herb we're going to be able to turn that in the Vladimir as part of this next quest. So instead of just running all the way around and ignoring it we're going to try to run through the swamp. Most likely we're going to get attacked by dogs and maybe a stray rat but we got a gun now so we're okay with that. So we're going to go straight through because it, any path is always the quickest via a straight line. I know it's not the exact way to say it, but that's what we're gonna do. So herbs are normally highlighted, just a little bit of light around them. Now it's not a guarantee that we're gonna find any on the way over, but we are gonna go ahead and go straight through here. Now I can already see we got a dog up here, so we're gonna try to double shot any dogs that we see before they actually attack us. It makes it a lot easier. So there's our first dog. Perfect double tap. Went down before it could even turn. And my neighbor fires up as hardly as we're doing this. Alright, so we're butchering our wolves. Um, we're hoping for meat. Now later on we will have a whole bunch of quests that we need the wolves for. Just right now we need to make sure that we uh, get the meat off the wolves. If we're lucky enough. Ooh, and we got some uh, some nice parts. Alright. So as I'm running through the swamp, I'm looking for these herbs. Now if we don't find them in the initial time, it's okay. We'll come back and we'll find them. We just want to kind of find some on the way to make things a little quicker. Right, now it doesn't look like first pass through we're going to find any. But we can still scoot a little bit out here. It's not a direct path over. And again, I'm not trying to run through the swamp because anytime I hit water I'm just going to run out of stamina and go the same speed anyways. Oh, here's one. So Calamus is what we're looking for. And you'll see why here in just a moment. So Calamus can spawn basically anywhere around the swamp area. Safest spots would be looking over here. This is where the least amount of dogs would be. You still have rats. They don't do much damage. They don't really hurt you. Uh, and most of them are going to be a one-shot kill unless you like hit them in the toe. So we'll come back over there. Let's go ahead and head up to Vladimir and we're going to talk to him. 
Now, unfortunately, uh, we're going to pick up a few quests, which I will intro in next uh, parts of my video. But right now, mainly, we want to do the quests just to be able to leave the starting area. Start to finish, you could do these quests to leave the starting area in about 15-20 minutes. Um, your first walkthrough might take you a little longer, just because you might not know what you're doing. But if you know what you're doing, you can literally get through the first part of the game in about 15-20 minutes. How does he have a shotgun already? I spent a lot of time going to the warehouse on my other playthroughs and walkthroughs and everything else. I never found a weapon in that warehouse and that dude found a shotgun. Or he bought it. That's okay though. Alright, so here's Vladimir. We're looking at our map. He's just kind of northwest of uh, the name of the town. So we talk to him. Has all this stuff. I'm going to skip the story because we're only here for the quick walkthroughs and everything else. Alright, so the first time we talked to him, he, we picked up two other quests, but the one we wanted, we can't get until we talked to him a second time. I was at the station, a uh, brig sent me to you. So it tells us we need to get Calamus uh, roots. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back over the swamp. We need to find three of those Calamus plants. What I'm also going to do is, while we're running, I'm going to see if we can find any other herbs just laying around. Because, oh, here's one. So if you find these extra herbs, you can turn them in four bullets. Now, I could also say four, four bullets. Each type of herb uh, will get you four bullets a piece. So it's an easy way to restore your bullets. That those uh, The Calamus that we're picking up, those are actually give you seven bullets a piece, but since we need those for the current quest we're on, we're going to pick those up just for the quest. If we find more than three, yes, we'll turn those in as well. So like I said, we're going to try to run around this area here and find them. Uh, at least likely a uh, chance to find a dog or anything uh, that would potentially very much harm us. And then we'll turn in the quest and uh, show you from there. Sometimes they're hard to see. I've actually watched videos of my playthrough and realized I missed them completely. So we saw one of them earlier. It's just a couple little strands. And yes, I look back and forth quickly because I'm a paranoid player and played too many PvP games. Now most rats won't run after you and attack you. It's really only if you step on them do they get mad. So we can kind of run around them. Now sometimes you can get lucky. The first time you run through here going up the sea Vladimir, if you don't take the safe route, 
you could potentially find all three of the roots before you even talk to him. They do count. Anyone you find before you talk to him and pick up the quest, you still get to use that on your quest. So you, uh, I have found all three running through before. This time we weren't as lucky, but that's okay. It won't take us long to find the rest of them. Now, I last did this part of the walkthrough a couple weeks ago, and I did notice a couple bugs. I do not know if they fixed them or not, but sometimes the tree trunks can become invisible, and they kind of shine like they're actually... Uh, ...herbs that you can pick up, so... I have seen that before. Uh, I have not seen that yet on this run. Here we go. But it is a potential problem. So here's our third Calamus. So they do show up. It's not a red quest item. It's a regular item. That's why I was saying if you happen to find those before uh, you make it up to see Vladimir, it's okay. You can still turn them in just the same. So once you get the three herbs, you're actually going to head over to this little house in the swamp. There are some fun dialogue things over here, a couple quest items that we're going to get into later on in one of the different walkthroughs, but we're purely just doing the first part of the quest to get you out of the int introductory area. So once you get up here, you're going to notice this out of place pot. This is the pot he wants you to turn them into. Hit F on it. I did it wrong. Okay, so it's all right that we picked up the Calamus because we need that for the next part of the quest. Uh, first part of the quest, which I 100% totally forgot about. We gotta kill dogs. So quickest way to find dogs is the junkyard area over here. They could potentially spawn anywhere in this area, but the junkyard's gonna be the quickest. So once again, anytime you find, even though we only need three, uh, I'm gonna keep picking up the Calamus because again, it will be free bullets. We are gonna go through some bullets here in a second. So it's better we're gonna have those extra herbs to be able to replace any bullets we do use. Now, I'm going to take a quick trip up the hill. I want to see if there's any dogs right up here. Instead of having to go all the way around the other side of the junkyard. And I will take pieces of wood. This little field area and this little wooded area every now and then has dogs in it, which is the only reason I check. Plus we found, you know, a piece of wood and some more herbs, so was it a complete waste? I 
not as big of a waste as going all the way over to the swamp and picking up the herbs before we actually needed to. So there's our first dog. Normally it takes two shots of the dog. Most likely this dog was injured by somebody else before he actually uh, got the charge at me. So we're looking for ears. Now dogs normally have two ears. There's another dog right there that should attack me. Alright, so there's our first set of ears. Easy double tap. There's another dog in the middle over there. Kind of hard to see unless you're in the perfect position. So we're going to see if we can go ahead and loot this dog without. Another dog over there. As a starting player, dogs are your biggest threat. They can potentially make you bleed. Uh, they do decent damage, especially if you run from them. And they are normally in packs, so it's not normally just one out by itself. There's normally at least two to three around. Now, if you saw with the scripting over here, you can see we have our dog ears. So we're going to turn those in. That's going to put us back to the Calamus quest, I promise. And then once we get to that quest, we'll be able to uh, go ahead and turn those in and finish up with the quest to get you out of this area. Now, as you can see, I am radiated. Uh, we don't have enough radiation right now that it's actually going to affect me. Uh, radiation, hunger, all those things no don't normally do damage until they're maxed out. Uh, maxing out radiation damage is 100. So since we're not even close to it, we can just let it roll. We don't have to waste any radiation packets on it. So far, we've used six bullets, I think. But with all the herbs we picked up, we're going to easily be able to replace any bullets we've already used. Now, I'm going to wait to turn in any bullets until after we get through the Calamus quest. That way I can show you, you know, how rewarding it is to find those herbs along the way. Alright, so here it is. It tells us that we need to find three Calamus acorns and uh, Calamus seedlings, sorry. And then we're going to take them to that house. So, we did already pick them up. So, makes it a lot easier. We can go straight to the swamp house now and turn them in. We don't have to go through the swamp finding the herbs. Fully admit that it was a mistake uh, going to the swamp early, but either way, it's still going to work out. We're getting lucky with flowers. Now, one thing you can do is, once you turn in the dog quest, there is a repeatable dog quest where you have to collect their tails. 
Uh, I would highly recommend picking that up if uh, any time that you have it available because it is extra bullets. Um, you're going to run in the dog sooner or later, so it's a lot better if you have that on there. That way you get something free out of it. So once again, here's the pot behind the doghouse. Put the calamus in the crate. Okay. We still have two left, which is awesome. That's another 14 bullets. Oh, let's make that 21 bullets. Now, it tells us that we need to look for the big gnarled tree. Now, you can tell it's a big gnarled tree because it has all those big gnarled branches at the top of it. So it's almost directly south, just a little bit west from where you turned in the quest. And then, guess what we found? We found a root. So now we can head back over to Vladimir, and Vladimir's going to go ahead and finish up this next part of the quest for us. This is a beautiful thing. Most people have a tendency to want to go ahead and use the wood to make a fire, cook additional meat. Um, you shouldn't need any more than four pieces of meat, though I will in later tutorials uh, show you how meat is actually Uh, how it's actually very beneficial to hold on to all meat for once you get out of this uh, introductory section. Uh, no, I'm not rushing. Um, but what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and turn this in. About the infusion, I have the calamus root. Alright, so... It, gave me the antidote so from there all we gotta do is go turn it in which i'm gonna do that in the next part of my walkthrough i hope that you guys enjoyed the second part of the walkthrough uh again we're gonna divide these up to make them a lot easier on you guys so stay tuned for my third walkthrough which is gonna take the tincture over to uh the huckster get everything done that we need to and then give us the ability to actually leave this area so, until next time, have a great day. I do I have all? I even have one of each. That makes it so much better. Alright.